What's good with the YouTube? You already know Big Flocker with a comics perspective. I'm going to smash, dash, and slide on through with that little bit of energy, man. Please hit the like, subscribe, comment, do all those things to help support the channel, and hit that bell notification for future, future fire content. You guys know I got COVID. Not feeling good, man. But I have to respond to this, man, because I finally got the clip of something that, something that somebody was talking. People have been trying to stir the comments. Apparently, Dubs said I'm an opportunist that I go after everybody that they have fucking issues with. And I'm going to play this clip first, and then I'm going to elaborate for you guys, man. But straight up, first and foremost, man, I ain't never tripped off Dubs. I talk, I communicate with Gunner. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know why this individual is going to call me an opportunist or whatnot. Everybody on YouTube, anytime you get anybody that has an issue or is blowing up trending, those are all, that's opportunists as well. There's no difference. You know what I mean? When you speak on other people's business or whatnot, you're capitalizing on them. We all do that, man. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know why he feels the fucking, he has to say this. I don't feel good. So I may not be sounding as professional as I should right now, but kind of irritating right now. Let's, let's pull this video up real quick, guys. Let me see. Here we go. To him. But look, she has 400 subscribers, and all of a sudden, uh, Flacco had an interview scheduled for her a month ago. <laughs> a month ago. 400 subscribers, but she's trending. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I'm. Yeah, great. Yeah, exactly. I'm, yeah. I'm just saying. All right, Flaco. I mean, I'm not, trying to go, I'm not trying Flacco to. I'm not trying to against anyone. us every chance he got. I'm not trying to belittle anyone. I'm just saying. I. All right, Flaco. You, you see it for what? Like, I'm having a personal conversation with you, and I ask you if you're single. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I'm not with anyone. I'm. You know, my last relationship. Oh, cool, cool, cool. cool. Is that it? So where you got to? But look, she has 400 subscribers, and all of a sudden, uh, Flacco had an interview scheduled for her a month ago. <laughs> a month ago, 400 subscribers, but she's trending. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I'm. Yeah, great. Yeah, exactly. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm just saying. All right, Flacco. I mean, I'm not trying to. Go, I'm not trying Flacco to. Flacco goes against little us little. every chance he got. I'm not trying to belittle anyone. I'm just saying I all right, Flacco. You, you see it for what like I'm having a personal conversation with you and I asked you if you're single. Yeah, yeah, I don't I'm not with anyone. I'm you know my last relationship. Oh cool, 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 cool. Let me see if there's another one, man. This shit cracks me up because you know what, man? <laughs> oh, hold on. Got to him. But look, she has 400 subscribers, and all of a sudden, uh, Flacco had an interview scheduled for her a month ago. <laughs> a month ago, 400 subscribers, but she's trending. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I'm. Yeah, great. Yeah, exactly. I'm, yeah, I'm just saying. All right, Flacco. I mean, I'm not trying to. Go, go, I'm not trying Flacco to. Flacco goes to against us every chance he got. I'm not trying to belittle anyone. I'm just saying I all right, Flacco. You, you see it for what like I'm having a personal conversation with you and I asked you if you're single. Yeah, yeah, I don't I'm not with anyone. I'm you know my last relationship. Oh cool, 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 cool. Okay. First and foremost, let's put everything in reality in this perspective. I never had a scheduled interview with her. What happened was, is in that Beat Those Live, I tapped in because I I seen all the drama going on. Look, I'm going to tap in on both sides. So I tapped in. I said, you know, tapped in. I'm watching. I'm like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? I want to see what the drama is going to unfold. And uh, people immediately said that, hey, wherever there's drama, Flacco is, is part of it. He started to stir the pot. See, I can't even comment on people's lives without people wanting to put myself involved in it. So I said, nah, I go, this isn't my business. I go, in fact, I talked to her a couple of weeks before this. I put that in the comment. If I would try to stir some problems up or get involved myself, I would have did it then. I never mentioned anything about an interview. I never mentioned anything else about what we discussed. And I knew that there was tension, but that's not my business. You see what I'm saying? So if I was trying to stir the pot, I would have jumped in right then. If I was trying to stir the pot, I would have, when I interviewed Mike's world, right, 
I would have fucking sat there and fucking sided with Mike's world on the whole thing. I even said many times that I agree with what Dubs and Gunner did. Okay. Um, so I'm trying to sit there and think, where's the issue at? Where's the problem? You know what I'm saying? I don't think that a lot. I think maybe he holds a little probably animosity because I interviewed Sundown. But you know what? They're fucking wrong for Sundown. I've told Gunner that's my opinion on that a long time ago. It ain't no beef. It ain't no battle. But the way they address Sundown, it upset a lot of former Familianos and active Familianos. Trust me on that. Because there's been statements that have been said that, oh, Blanco disrespects legends. Well, they felt, I know on the Familiano side, former and the ones in the feds, they felt disrespected by that video on Sundown. That people will talk about the NF, right? But they're afraid to talk on the Mexican mafia. You, a lot of people got pissed off over that video, right? And that's the truth. So even when I did that, I even sat there and did an interview with Sundown and asked all the fucking questions. If I was going to sit there and go out, go against you, I would put this out there right now. I said, like, yeah, the NF is pissed off about what you guys did on that. And that's the fucking damn truth, man. I talked to people. They felt like, yeah, people will, will disrespect former Familianos, but they won't disrespect former Emmy. If you're going to categorize one side as legends, you got to categorize both sides. Now, that's the only time where I, I guess you could sit there and say, I lightweight was not only, that was an opportunist. That's something I felt a certain way about. You know what I mean? Now, that's the only issue I've ever had regarding any of this stuff. Mike's world, why not do the interview? If you guys are given an opportunity to interview someone that could be beneficial for your channel or for Gunner's channel, you guys do so. And I'm all supportive of that. Me and you don't tap in. You blocked me a long time ago. You told someone on the live that I disrespect legends. And then next thing you know, you're calling Sundown Sundance and speaking on the form of Familiano. Regardless if his stories are embellished, lies, inaccurate, who knows what. You spoke on them. And the way in which you guys spoke on them, I did not, I know a lot of people did not appreciate. And I didn't hold you guys fucking wrong on that. I had my opinion on that. Other than that, tell me where I'm going against you guys. I'm not. And see, so all these little statements about fucking, you know, I'm opportunist. Okay, Flock, well, okay, dubs. It's okay to disrespect the internet, but not the MA, huh? Okay, dubs. I get that. So it's okay to disrespect the North, but not the South, huh? Okay, Dubs. That's how a lot of people feel when you do stuff like that, man. And I didn't put that out there. I could have did that a long time ago, man. That's the only issue in all this that we've ever had where I did not agree with what you guys have done is in that issue right there. Even the sacred hurt situation, I don't know the full details. I think she's cool people. You know what I'm saying? I've tapped into her. I tapped in with her, excuse me, and I've told her, you know, keep your head up. Whatever's going on, I don't know. It's not my business, but stay focused. A lot of people do support you and like what you're doing. That's the extent of anything that I had in the conversation. She, and she can confirm exactly what I said. I didn't ask for an interview. I didn't ask for any smut on you guys. I didn't ask for what the problem was. I knew there was existing issues. Why? An active dominant from down your way told me. Did I pry into it? No. So to sit there and get drunk. And to make remarks like that, come on, man. I told you a long time ago when I brought the sundown thing that if there was any issues to go ahead and get at me because I seen how you talk about you, how Tony got at you and this person got at you. You could get at me at any time and I will have a conversation. I am that dude. But you elected not to. So that is on you. Now, as, as far as all this trying to, I got dudes that are creating pages that are only five hours old, five hours made talking smack. Talking this and that. And whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, man. You know, and then at the same time, they also have a copy of the lie that you took down. You know, that to me starts to, I don't know. Tell me, tell me what makes sense of that. You know, the, the lie that you had up that all of a sudden is taken down. Unless these guys are screen recording for that long, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? And even when I dropped the video yesterday about, you know, who's the most hated YouTuber. It was the people that turned it into fucking, well, Flacco or Gunner or Doves. They turned it on to that situation because of the recent events. It wasn't even about that. But I can't control what the subscribers do say. Now, the other day in that same live, Mythos, I commented because people were saying that I was an instigator in that situation, which I had nothing to do so. And I put a positive comment. I got blocked. 
few minutes later, you had viewers that were talking shit in the comments, and you left those comments up, though. So you tell me how I'm really supposed to feel about this. I don't see where I don't see where if you listen to the Mike's World interview where there was anything that was disrespectful towards you. You know what I'm saying? Nothing was disrespectful towards you or Gunner. I even said what you guys did. I said I would have did the same fucking thing. So if that to, to you is me going against you, I don't know what to tell you, man. You know what I'm saying? Some people think that certain people will favor a particular side and diss the other side based upon on the channel. I don't look at it that way, but there's people who feel that way, man. I don't care about none of that, man. You know what I'm saying? But to sit there and uh, get drunk and get on your emotions and feel a certain way about that, I don't know who told you that fucking I had an interview set four weeks before with her. I did it. You know what I'm saying? And after that incident, I wasn't going to interview it because I wasn't trying to stir the pot. If I would have sat there, interviewed her after all the fucking conflicts and all the stuff that I seen that night, then yeah, you could most definitely call me a fucking against you. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't. You know what I mean? And I've communicated with her four weeks before this. I was communicating with her. You know what I'm saying? Based upon the fact that she has uh, 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 someone that told me, hey, reach out to her. She's, you know, she has a good channel. She's a good following. She has a lot of good things to say. She's not tapping in with the uh, uh, dubs and gunner no more for, for apparent reason. And I didn't even want to ask what the reason was. So I just tapped in and told her to keep her head up, keep on doing what she's doing. That's all I did, man. All this riffraff fucking shit. I talked I talk to gunner from time to time. We keep a, a mutual, respectful line of communication. We don't talk shit. There's times where he understands when I'm doing a video. We're doing the same videos off each other. You know what I'm saying? He's done videos, what happened to me, fucking with the Quete incident. I mean, when I got ran up on with the Quete, he's done videos about certain things, and I don't take no offense to it, even if he has a different perspective of things. You know what I'm saying? So this is YouTube. You know what I'm saying? But to, for people, viewers hear what you say, especially when you're drunk, bro, and they take it at a certain value, man, that, okay, there's funk or there's issues. I got no issues, man. You know what I'm saying? You blocked me a long time ago for whatever apparent reasons, and that's okay. That's fine. Apparently, it was because I disrespected legends, right? But the video you guys did with Sundown, you guys did the same thing, man, and no disrespect when I say that. That's an issue in the past, but there's a lot of carnales that from fucking the Familiano side, former and current, that felt a certain way about you guys doing that, that you guys will take shot at NF or former NFs, but not at the MA. If you're going to consider one side legends, you got to consider all side legends. And I felt the same way about that. You know, and I even made a comment reference to that. Well, you know, you said you get at people when there's issues. I still haven't got that call. You know, so if you think I'm against you, I'm not. The dubs I used to remember who used to do content and focus and not be involved in the drama or whatnot or not feel the need to fucking put himself on a pedestal above everybody was the dubs i used to respect the content and i know i know dubs could do, do that content but now it's like you're, you're making fun of someone just because they have 400 subscribers who gives a fuck this fuck if you have fucking 10 subscribers or fucking 100 000. i'm gonna show everybody equal respect man you know those are the things i used to strive for equality respect social status to be recognized as equal on any fucking playing field and that doesn't change just because i'm on youtube you know, so whatever misconceptions or uh, uh, that you may have as far as what I've done and what I haven't done, that's on you, man. You know what I'm saying? I got no beef. I don't give. I, I really don't care if there was beef or not, to be honest with you. I haven't been dramatic. And just because I capitalize on certain situations, why not? Everybody else does. See, see someone put in the comments that I could do certain things. And it's, it's, it's taboo if I do it. It's fucking, I'm a villain. I'm this and that. But other people could do the same fucking thing, and it's not an issue. Really think about that. You know what I'm saying? Think about all the times to where you see potential uh, uh, times where you can capitalize and be an opportunist on situations. You're supposed to capitalize when an opportunity presents itself. That's the name of the game. That's how people get on top. So... And then you got people fucking making five-hour accounts talking about, oh, he's afraid to go. Well, I ain't afraid of nobody, but I'm not here to stir the pot either. I could care less. You know what I'm saying? But I just seen how things get blown out of proportion from fact to fictional. 
Like who, whoever said I was going to interview her. I never said that. You said that in this video. Let's play it again. She has 400 subscribers, and all of a sudden, uh, Flacco had an interview scheduled for her a month ago. <laughs> a month ago, 400 subscribers, but she's trending. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I'm, yeah, great. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. All right, Flacco. I mean, I'm not trying to win. I like how good her head. Gonna handle, gonna handle that okay. Even Rascal was fucking even Rascal didn't know what to say. Um, but yeah, man. You know, fuck all the bullshit. You know what, man? It's, I'm not hard to get a hold of, man. Get a hold of Gunner, he can give you my number. Reach out. I'm out. <laughs>